Um, so now we're going to go into crate games. The first one, I think we're going to crate games from the beginning, but he does like his crate. So what you're going to start with is this mat, and I love that he's got all his paws on it. So I'm just going to feed him with his paws on it. Oof. And I appreciate that he has all his paws on it. So go get it, buddy. And then when he comes back, I want him to put all his paws back on this mat. And this is just the first part, so I'm going to kind of show him what he's supposed to do. When I say I'm showing him what he's supposed to do, I mean that I positioned myself and I moved my feet so that when Finn came back from getting his treat, it was he was lined up well to where he yeah, would succeed right. with the four paws on the mat. Oh boy, good job. Yes, go buddy. Okay, go get it. So he's a little more mellow, so I'm going to kind of hype him up a little bit because I want him running back to get on this. Yeah, go boy. Yeah, good boy. So this mat is going to be his best friend. Good boy. Nice. Thank you. Okay. After you're done with them running back to this mat, putting all four paws on it, and um, really comfortable just standing on the mat, then you're going to move the mat into the crate. So I'm going to try that. Okay. And see what he does. This is kind of a small crate, too, so I don't know. So this is a sped up just because it takes a long time and a lot of patience from the handler to um, wait for the dog to make their choice into going to the crate. You can't um, force a dog to go into the crate, but you want to wait until they make that decision and you're going to be there when they do so that you can reward them for the choice that they made. Again, my brother and his video games dominated the volume during this section, so What's happening here is I'm just helping Finn build the love for his crate and I cut a lot of this work out just because I was spending a lot of time um, doing the same steps over and over again, treating Finn on the inside of the crate, just um, building the love to go into the crate and then releasing him back out again. And the reason we're doing this is just so that it's a lot easier to build, well it's going to make it easier in the future to build off of this solid foundation of the dog's love for the crate so getting into the crate isn't difficult and coming out is also not difficult and can be done on command so those are your two priorities during this time before you move on to part all right and then two. once they get good with going into the crate um you're going to start with the command yeah so after the cue, kennel or crate or kennel up is added to the kennel, what you're going to do is move on to part two, which is where you wait for the dog to sit inside the crate that they love so much. So what you're going to do is ask them to kennel, close the door behind them, keep your hand on the door or on the latch, cueing them to sit, and when they do sit, you open the door a little bit and give them the treat right to their face. Um... If they get up or move or lay down, um, then you just simply close the crate door again and wait for the sit. They're only allowed out if they're sitting and you release them, so make sure you throw that release word in there of yours um, so they know when they're allowed to leave. Again, Finn's never done crate games before, so this is me just working with him more and more. Ask him to enter the crate, feed that he went into the crate, thank you, and then I ask for the sit by just waiting and if you were to get up without me releasing him I just close the crate door so that was your crate games one and two from the mat outside the crate to the mat in the crate to the love for the crate to the command kennel up or kennel or crate and then into um, the sit inside the crate and the release for it so have fun with this one it's a difficult and patient game